Hey, radio listeners, this is SpongeBob SquarePants. I'm in the WH2O studio, here with fellow singer Britney Spears. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Britney Spears, and I come from Kitwood, Louisiana. When did your musical career begin? My musical career began probably when I was eight years old. I've always wanted to sing, and it's just something I've always wanted to do. When were you signed by Jive Records? Well, actually, I was signed by Jive when I was 15. Larry Rudolph is the one who hooked me up with Jive Records, and Jeff Finster is the one who signed me. Why did you audition for being signed by Jive Records? When I auditioned, you know, to be signed with Jive, it was so nerve-wracking because I'm so used to performing in front of big live audiences. So it was really hard performing in front of, you know, like, 10 executive people from Jive just sitting there staring at me. It was really nerve-wracking. But I just said, you know, I'm going to close my eyes and do the best I can. And they signed me. Who did you hook up with? I hooked up with NSYNC. I think it was mostly the um, record label. But um, actually, Justin and JC, we've known each other for a while, and it's just really bizarre that after two years, you know, we're hooked up again and we're all traveling together. It's a lot of fun. Are there any bizarre incidents you have so far? Um, well, actually, there hasn't really been that many bizarre in- incidents so far, but I'm sure there's a lot to come. <laughs> Who directed your first video, and where was it shot at? My first video was directed by Nigel Dick, and it was shot in L.A. And it was so much fun because I had all the dancers there with me, and we know each other really well, and we just got to goof off the whole time. So it was a lot of fun, but it was a lot of hard work also. Who did the choreography? Randy Connor did the choreography. Did you do those backflips? Yes, I actually did do those backflips, yeah. Since I was, like, a baby, I've been doing gymnastics. So, you know, gymnastics was my first thing that I ever did before I even, you know, I was singing. So, yeah, that's why I was able to do the backflips. Who really influenced you? I'm really influenced by Whitney Houston and Prince because Prince as an artist, he is just, like, a legend to me. All of his, you know, his old songs are just incredible. And Whitney Houston, I just love her voice. You know, when she sings, you really feel her singing. She is just phenomenal. Who were you listening to? Um, when I was growing up, you know, I listened to, like, Tiffany, you know, and, like, there were so many people, and Sinead O'Connor, and just Shaka Khan, you know. There were so many wonderful people in the 80s, and right now I'm listening to, like, Natalie and Brulia, Third Eye Blind, and, um, oh my goodness, everyone. It's like a variety of people. Is your album fun? It's a, it's a very fun album, my album, and there's, it, it's mainly up-tempo, though, so it's a lot of fun, and it's songs that young people like me can relate to. Is this your first time traveling overseas? Yeah, actually, it was my first time to be overseas, so it was a lot of, you know, a lot of fun, but actually, I didn't have that much time to see Sweden because I was in the studio so much because we were actually there, you know, just to do two songs, but everything went so smoothly, we ended up doing seven. Have you traveled? Yeah, I have traveled a lot, but um, I don't really have that much time to visit each place. You know, I'm like in there and I do what I've got to do and I, I get to leave. But so far, I think my favorite places have been L.A. because I just like, I'm like a sun person, you know. I love L.A. because it's so beautiful. But I could never live there because of the earthquakes. And um, probably Sweden was really nice. I love visiting there. How was the food in Sweden? The food in Sweden was like really different. Uh, you know, from the U.S., everything was really, really healthy. Like the sandwiches, they put cucumbers on them and ham and a slice of cheese. No mayonnaise, no, you know, it's really, really different. But I I liked it, though. I liked looking at the different candies they had, you know. It was really nice. But when I came back over, you know, to the U.S., I, like, totally pigged out with hot fries and junk food. Are you going to Asia? I, I cannot wait to go, you know, to Asia because everyone seems so nice over there and everyone's just really nice. And the shopping... It's going to be really nice because everyone's like really tiny there and I'm really short. So it's like I don't have to try on anything because everything fits. It's really great. Do you have any boyfriends? Oh, yeah. I've had a boyfriend. I've had plenty of boyfriends. But boyfriends right now, it's really complicated, you know, with traveling, you know, and it's hard to keep everything up, you know. But if you really love someone, you know, it'll be okay. What is love? Love is just, I think, something that when you really, really care about someone, and like as far as relationship goes, you know, it's just, I think, if you have someone that can totally understand you, you know, and have a lot of understanding, that's what you need. Has your life changed? Um, my life has changed tremendously because, I mean, you know, just, you know, as far as traveling goes and being on the bus all the time, You know, it's really hectic, but I love performing and I love doing this, so I have no regrets at all, you know. So I'm just having a lot of fun right now, and as long as I get my sleep, I'm okay.
Did they let you go home? Oh, yeah, they let me, you know, go home. Like, you know, when I have vacations and stuff, I get to go home and visit my friends, and it's totally normal. We still, like, goof off and play around and go shopping and go to the mall, so it's completely normal. What was your life like on the Mickey Mouse Club? The Mickey Mouse Club was a lot of fun because that's probably when I realized, you know, I wanted to make singing a career. I mean, you know, there was 20 other kids on the show, and just being in Florida, you know, in Disney World alone was just so much fun, and it was a really great experience for me. And I was, like, 11 and 12 when I was on the Mickey Mouse Club. Is Max Martin nice? Um, Max is as nice as he is talented. He's really a great guy, and I'm very thankful to be able to work with him. He's great. And, um, yeah, in Sweden, we went there, and we, it was really busy. We went there for, like, 10 days. We've got, we got a lot done, and it was just great. We just, you know, went in there and sang it and felt good. How was Sweden? Going to Sweden was very nice. It was my first time to be out of the country, so I was really excited to begin with. And when I got over there, everyone was just really nice. And it was beautiful. And I just went into the studio and just sang. And it was great. It was a lot of fun. I loved it a lot. So I love, I love to travel and see different places and different things. There's a, a lot out there <laughs> you need to see. Tell me about every song on your album. Well, Baby One More Time, which is my first single, was recorded overseas with Max Martin. And um, it was just, you know, one of those songs, like, when you first hear, you just fall in love with. It's just such a great song. Crazy was also done overseas, and it was Max Martin and two of his people that he works with, Pear and David. Sometime was also recorded overseas, and um, a guy named George did it, and he wrote the song. It's just a really nice song. Soda Pop was recorded in New Jersey with Eric Foster White. It's like one of the songs on an album that is just kind of off the wall, just a really fun party song. Born to Make You Happy was done by Christian London overseas. From the Bottom of My Broken Heart was done by Eric Foster White in New Jersey. And it's like one of my, it's actually my second favorite song on the album. It's just one of those songs, you know, that every teenager can relate to and it's just a really nice ballad. Thinking About You was done by Eric Foster White. And um, it was actually one of my first songs that we recorded when I first got signed. So it's, you know, a really good song. I'm so happy it's on the album. I Will Still Love You is a ballad, and me and one of my label mates, Don Phillip, which is actually with Jive Records, he, it's a duo, and it's a ballad, and it's just a really nice song. I Will Be There is actually a song done overseas, and Max Martin um, recorded that song. Email My Heart is a song that Eric Foster White did, and it's just one of those songs that, you know, with email and technology coming up so much, it's just a song that everyone can relate to. And the Beat Goes On is a remake of a Sharon Sunny song, and um, it's like one of those off-the-wall songs, you know, actually kind of like soda pops, just one of those party songs. It's a lot of fun. Thank you for coming here for taking the time to talk to me. You can listen to Britney Spears' debut album, Baby One More Time, now on store shelves. More music is on the way on WH2O.